Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. We are having our Thanksgiving today, so I'm going to do a charcuterie board. And my charcuterie board is just going to be um, real basic. I'm going to do some vegetables and dip, um, crackers and cheeses, and I'm going to also do, because my family loves the hard salami, I'm going to do the hard salami rose on there. And um, I'm going to have some grapes on it. I always have grapes in the middle of my charcuterie board. But I love charcuterie boards because this, this is the one I'm using today. It's a nice big one. Let me show you the one my friend just made me. This charcuterie board... Is for a huge family. <laughs> this would be for a party in the summertime because he knows I love to do charcuterie boards. So he made me a huge one. Can you believe the size of that? It's like almost as tall as me. <laughs> I love it. So the reason why I like charcuterie boards so well is because you can be Picasso with your bare canvas. You can make them and there's no right or wrong way to make a charcuterie board. It is all your imagination and your liking. Okay, so first thing, hello. Hello. Hello, friends. Is that your way? No. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what is that thing? Some somebody sent it to you from NH. Oh. Okay. We'll open it. There. We got mail. <coughs> those are cotton candy. They taste like cotton candy. Did you ever have those cotton candy grapes, friends? Those are so good. Okay. I got something here. I need my glasses. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at. I believe it's a mortar and pestle. I broke my pestle on my mortar. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. I dropped my mo uh, pestle. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You take that so over yonder. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you very much. Yes, this is from Elizabeth. Thank you so much, I can't Elizabeth. Read her last name, though. Oh, I didn't read her letter yet, so I'll have to read that letter. But that's something between her and I. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you, Elizabeth. I love it. I love it. It'll be perfect when I do um, grind my spices and my garlic for our breads and our spices for out. And out. You're hilarious. Are you hungry? You want a sandwich? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this will be good when we grind our spices and our garlic and make our, our breads and our foods out in the um, outdoor oven. We haven't done much cooking out in there, not until... Um, Mr. Wayne, it heals up all the way. I love that mortar and pestle. It's beautiful. Okay, the grapes are already clean. I cleaned these and just left them in here. So we're going to set these. And I don't like the looks of that. Well, here, have a couple more. We're going to see if I can make this look pretty. That looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. There you go. You can nibble on these. How's that sound? 
All right. Oh, this is wonderful stuff. We'll go ahead and we'll make, I got it cut real thin. It's awful dark in here. That's a little better. Okay. First thing, when you make um, your little roses out of your meat. I'll be right back. Okay, baby, I love you. You're going to want to make sure you get it cut very thin. Not quite as thin as Subway's meat, but, you know, pretty thin. See that? It's more pliable that way. And you're just going to take yourself a glass that has a nice wide rim on it. And you're just going to start layering it around there and folding it. And you're going to keep right on going with it until there's really no more room. And this, oops, does that one, I ripped that one. Mr. Wayne, I need that one. And I'll show you, these turn out really nice. They're really easy to do. And they look pretty on a charcuterie board. You can you, you don't have to use salami. You could use the big pepperoni. You could use anything you want, really. As long as it's browned is the best. And you can put together a charcuterie board literally on a budget. It's not hard to do. I think my refrigerator is making some noise. I'm getting there. That's going to be pretty. I'm going to put a couple more in here. I want to do this. He's got those ones cut a little too thin for me. Okay. Here we go. That won't go to waste because Mr. Wayne won't have a ball with that. He may make a sandwich. Okay. I believe... We got enough on here. Okay. See how it's going to look on your glass? Beautiful. And you just flip it over. And there's your, there's your flower. Isn't that gorgeous? Perfect. So, I'm going to set that right about there. I may do another one. Um... Let's see if I got enough to do another one with. I may. Let me get another one of these done. I'm going to work on this. Enjoy the music. I'll play some Christmas music. <laughs> it is that time, friends. Okay, 
we got that one. We're going to put him on this side. Nope. We need to fill him further. Okay. He's going to fall apart on me. So I got to make him nice and tight. And that's easy to do. Just put him back in there. My hands are clean. Your hands got to be clean. If you're, this is for my family, so I don't need to wear gloves. But if you're going to be making this for other people besides, I'd wear gloves handling all this. Absolutely. Okay, now I'm going to let Mr. Wayne have these for a sandwich. And we're just going to tighten that down. There we go. We got it. Beautiful. That's going to sit right there on that side. Okay, friends, I grabbed two of my little um, dishes, my oven dishes, and I'm going to use them. One for the little candies that I got, and the other I'm going to use for the ranch dressing, or ranch dip, which would be, I got the French onion dip for the chips. I'm going to put together chips and salsa on a tray too because that's always good. Okay. So we got that. Now we're going to take this and I'm going to put this Ooh. Okay, so that'll be nice. I probably am going to take, leave that right there, that's beautiful. I'm probably going to take and put just a little bit of um, parsley on there. Okay, so now we're going to do some of these veggies. Up. Oh, I have just a ball doing this. Oh, let's see. Okay, we need a garbage bowl for the chickens. I'm gonna have quite a bit, so I'm gonna do a nice big bowl. Okay, now we're just gonna slice these a little thicker than I normally do. We'll just eat this one. these we can take these and go right around here I need to put you down here where you're well you're where you will see it better I think friends you can see that a little better okay we're just putting these around here Beautiful. No, we don't want that one. Oh, okay. 
Isn't that gorgeous? That one though can't go there either. Okay, so that's gonna look so nice. All right, now let's see. We're gonna do some celery sticks. We're gonna cut these up. I absolutely love this. We have a lot of food going out today. Or we have a lot of food today being made for our Thanksgiving, but we've got 20 people coming. So we got a nice big variety of food. My daughter's doing the turkey. And she's doing a 22 pound turkey. Let's see, we're gonna put these right in here. Then from there, we can put crackers or cheese down in there. And we'll put these over here. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to do some cheese. Okay. I'm going to cut this in half. And then we're going to take... I should do this so that you can actually see what I'm doing here. I got lots of room so I can do that. Okay, so <clears throat> I got my cheese here. I'm gonna cut it like so. Then we're gonna cut about four good slices out of this. like that. Let me do another four. And there we go. And then just stand it up. going to set this we're going to set this right in here beautiful so we've got nice cheese there okay so we got that now I'm gonna open this other one that one's looking beautiful All right, so I'm going to cut this in half. I showed you the lattice. I'm going to set that aside. And then we're going to cut this in half again. And I'm going to cut little pieces out of these. I might use the other half as well. Okay. Now with these, I'm going to cut them in little triangles. And these would be perfect just to line the edges of your board. Except I don't want mine hanging out because they're going to be traveling. 
So I'm just gonna tuck mine in for right now. Good enough. I'm going to take my little fishy crackers. Mm. You know what? I think that I'm going to fill this with my mixed nuts. Beautiful. By the time I get the charcuterie board done, I'm going to be full. <laughs> I want some of these nice little crackers. And... I'm going to dump them right in there. That's a beautiful spot for them. there for a minute. My grandbabies love these. These are the cream cheese and chive wafers. My grandkids love these, so we've got to have lots of these on the board. They'll be the first thing they hit. And you can make this any way you want. It's just gorgeous anyway. I love it. There's no rhyme or reason. No, doesn't have to be a certain design. You can put anything your family likes on it. Let's see. We need some more veggies, so we're going to do some peppers. Oh, I got radishes too. We're going to do a few radishes in here and some peppers. right into there. Beautiful. Just a little bit more room there. There. Radishes right there. All right, now we're going to do the peppers. And you know what? I am not taking the ends off these peppers because they're just darling the way they are. So those will be okay there for a minute. We're going to do some more crackers. Then we'll do some more cheese.
I'm putting crackers around the outside edge by these nuts. Big old bunch of them. Ah. We're gonna make a little border right here. I'm just going to do some chunks. Now let's see where I'm going to put these. these over here. Okay, friends, this is looking beautiful. Now I got these little tomatoes and I believe these are all washed, but we're going to wash them just in case. We're going to give them a wash. Okay, we'll let them drain in the sink. I'm going to go ahead and cut my other cheese because they love cheese and crackers. Okay. And we're going to do this again because I'm going to do another... Um, I think I'm just going to do blocks blocks of cheese. Little um, chunks of cheese. Yeah. I'm going to finish up around this edge with that design, the little triangles.
Okay, that side's filled. I'm gonna eat a piece of this cheese. Now, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do chunks of cheese over there, and then I'm gonna fill it in with Ritz crackers. my tea. <coughs> okay, let's see here. Let's get this all in my hand. This is going to go right in here. Stack it up. You like those, don't you? Do you want some cheese and crackers? I got some. Okay, now this side is nearly done. I need the cheeses. Yeah, the white cheddar is good. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty good. I have a hot mess by the time I'm done, but I'll clean it all up. Put that away. I'm not going to throw them away. Cheese, it's there. Now, let's see, we'll put these over here. Carrots and my tomatoes. I still need my tomatoes. My carrots are all good. Okay. the carrots over here. Okay. We got a nice bunch of them right there. Okay. Carrots are good. Now my tomatoes. They're pretty well drained. And I'm not going to cut these. I'm leaving these tomatoes whole. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will cut them in half. Um, no. Ah, don't you hate when you can't make your mind up? I'm going to put some tomatoes up in here. Oh. And I'm going to put a couple of to a nice big tomato in there. Oh, look at those. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'll put a couple of tomatoes up in here. I'll put a nice, big, beautiful tomato there. Oh, I'll put one right there. Oh, don't you dare do that to me. I'll put one right there. No, not right there. We got one there. Not one there. I'll put one right there. Okay, so now I can do crackers over there, and I'm going to do the regular Cheez-Its over there. Look at this. I got them.
You know what? I'm going to put more peppers over there first. I'm going to put peppers over here. Let me get a couple of these little red ones. All right, friends. I don't think I could fit any more in there if I tried. Tell me what you think of that. Does that look like an inviting charcuterie board? I'm going to take the extra crackers and stuff, but isn't that beautiful? We've got peppers and radishes and carrots, cucumbers, celery. We got all the main veggies on there. We got meat on there. We've got cheeses, oh, and tomatoes, and crackers, and nuts. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. So, this is a big old mess. I've got to clean up my mess, and then I got other things to do. I'm going to do some, um, I'm going to do some, uh, I gotta do my deviled eggs and then I gotta get my potatoes going. So, this was just a short video, friends. I just brought you along with me and show you how fun a charcuterie board can be to put together. I mean, you can put anything you want on it. And it's perfect for a holiday, it's perfect for a party, it's perfect for when everybody wants something different. Okay, let's put it on a charcuterie board. You could do sandwiches. You could do anything. It's that charcuterie board is your bare canvas. Just have a ball with it. You see me? I had fun. So anyway, I'm going to get my stuff cleaned up. I'm going to get the rest of our Thanksgiving done. And then I'm going to go share all my stuff and enjoy my um, Thanksgiving with my family. And be thankful and grateful for all my blessings. God bless you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. You have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, friends, thanks for watching.